Hi, my name is Halo Howe, and tonight I'm here to talk about the Halo Zone. Now, as you may all know, some of you maybe, I don't know, the Halo Zone is a dark, scary, deep place, and most life forms aren't that pretty. It's simple, A. Eh? Recently, James Cameron. Well, hey, Hal, how are you doing, man? Hey, man. Hey, well, you know, I just got back from my trip, and uh, you know, we just went down uh, the deepest sub ride ever, and it was it was fantastic. We were down in the Hadel Zone. Oh, too awesome. Yeah, man, it was really great. You know that the ride down there. And the ride up take so long that you're only given a small window of time to be able to look around and see what's down there. And while I was down there, I can tell you right now, I thought I'd see a whole lot of stuff. But it is dark. Mm. Yeah. You know a lot about the Hadel Zone, don't you? I have to admit, I've done my research, so... Well, listen, you tell me, because there's some things... Do you I mind if I read some information? No, no, please do. Thanks. James Cameron is the first person to reach the 6.8 mile mark. Deep sea, undersea valley of the Marine Mariana Trench. Pronunciation is crucial. Solo. I mean, by himself. Kind of lonely. He got radio, but... It wasn't so bad. And only the third person to do it ever. So that's, that's, that's awesome, I'd say. James, do you mind if I share your little name with folks? No, no, go right ahead. Okay, thanks. My James, mom gave it to me. James Francis Cameron was born August 16th, 1954, and is currently living in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. CA, California, at age 58. So that's what's all this about. Would you take off your hat? I mean, well, you know, I'm still getting warmed up from being down in the sub and, and, and getting out in the water and stuff. But you know, it, was, it, was, it wasn't always gray. Mm -hmm. Better than being bald. Totally. James Cameron is a film director producer, editor, screenwriter, and environmentalist, and, oh my gosh, deep sea explorer. That's right. I like your flipper. I'm also working on some other projects, but right now, this one's been my favorite. That's cool. James Cameron's Avatar and Titanic are the two highest grossing films of all time. Trust me on this one. Not adjusted for inflation. Now, I'd like to do put a special thanks for James Cameron for coming on this set. And he just went down the Hadel Zone. I mean, literally, he just got out of the water like 15 seconds ago. I bet you know, his feet aren't even dry. How I'm really happy to be here. And I really want to thank you because the, the information about the Hadel Zone and knowing about it and our environment, particularly our oceans, is really important. I bet you didn't know this one fact, and I just read this this morning in National Geographic, that less than 15% of our entire oceans have been surveyed. Did you know that? That means that the planet of Venus and the moon have better surveys than our oceans. Something to think about. Wow. Considering we've never actually been to Venus, we've been to the moon, but... Still, I'd say that's pretty hard to believe. I right? know. Well, hey, thanks again. You too. I'll come anytime. Thank you. And that was A Night with James Francis Cameron. Thank you. My name is Hato Howe, and this is Talk Live with Deep Sea Experts. Hi. My name is Hato Howe.
you probably remember me from last show. But in case you don't, my name's Halo How. And I'm doing, of course, the Halo Zone. Now, the Halo Zone has a low population of animals and sea life. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. Do to know. Like. <laughs> Very cold temperatures. Also, no oxygen. This and extreme pressure. You can imagine. This would make the Hato Zone a very hostile living condition. This is Hato Owl. Oh, oh. Talk with sea creatures. What? Most creatures of the Hato Zone have very poor eyesight, only good for seeing bioluminescent flashes, meaning they see other fish with flashing light. This is used for predator and prey. They will attack and eat. Thank you. Hi, this is Hato How. More about the Hato Zone and a sub. The Deep Sea Challenger is a sleek, narrow, 20 foot tall, 24 foot tall vessel. The sub has three main sections. The beam, the biggest single component that is made of a new kind of foam that provides both flotation and a strong structural core. The pilot's sphere is slung below the beam. Below that, an array of scientific gear that stands ready to deploy at the bottom to do scientific research. On March 16, 2012, it landed at the Mariana Trench, which is located off the coast of the Philippines and Japan. It is deepest, it is the deepest known, known as the freaky part, trench at approximately 10,911 meters or 36,000, I mean, yeah, 36,814 feet. The feet part may be inaccurate. We could not find an accurate site that would agree. This area of the trench is called Challenger Deep. Challenger Deep is the deepest point in the ocean. Only one life form has been found there, <clears throat> called protists. These creatures are not actually animals. They're single-celled organisms that are believed to be related to the first life forms on Earth. Another type of single-celled organism in the Hado Zone is called Formifera and has soft shells since hard shells would crush. It makes sense actually. Under the extreme pressure. It is the most abundant abundant creature found in the Halo Zone. This is Hadal Hell last time. Thank you for watching. Talk with deep sea creatures for my bottom. Good night.